I use visualization to look at a lot of things, and a lot of complex realities are a lot more simple once they're visualized properly. It has the potential to be applied to almost anything. Uh, GIS was really important, for instance, in the recent uh, tsunami in Japan, um, the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And a legend over here indicates the number of fresh produce items within a 10 minute walk of any location in the area. And so most of the map is white, and that indicates that these people have no fresh produce within a 10 minute walk. And a lot of the map is yellow, that means that people have very few produce items, probably a convenience store or a liquor store that sells lemons and limes within their 10 minute walk shed. So a vast majority of pedestrian based consumers in the area, and there are some, uh, don't have a lot of choices when it comes to, to fresh produce because our fresh produce is out here in the suburban areas where our supermarkets are. A lot of people had talked about food environments but we've never really seen a, a picture of one. So we can use visualization and GIS to reveal these invisible realities about nutritional accessibility in cities. If we look at the same map through the lens of an automobile driver, we see a lot darker map. We see a lot of blue on this uh, map indicating that you have a lot more choices when it comes to fresh produce, uh, which suggests that the role of the automobile is very important in the Lansing fresh produce environment. And if you want broccoli in this town, chances are you're going to have to have a car. Some of my other projects have looked at everything from how many commercials are in an average NFL broadcast to how different states have different voter potency. And the map you're looking at here shows the distribution of cardiac catheterization services in the state of Michigan. These are areas shaded here that are within 30 minutes of a cardiac cath unit, which is important if you're having a heart attack. If you live here and you have a heart attack, you're going to have to drive probably an hour or so to reach uh, a facility where you can get treated. We can look at other facilities, for instance, emergency rooms. Fortunately, most of the state is covered where people live down here within 30 minutes of an emergency room. However, there are places in rural Michigan, specifically the Upper Peninsula where we see a lot of gaps in those 30 minute drive sheds. So what we can do is overlay those individual service areas to see the cumulative service index and the purple areas here in the UP have no services out of those 19 within 30 minutes. Well, those green areas down here near Ann Arbor and Detroit have almost everything uh, within a 30 minute drive. Similarly, Grand Rapids, you can see. So the state does a pretty good job of serving its population. Um, however, it tails off pretty fast as we get into rural areas in the northern lower peninsula and the upper peninsula.